panoramic, cinematic, supersonic, self-contained, tuned, and channeled to your vibes. A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. These Mustangs looking to lay down the law of the land, chomping at the bit for their second straight city title. What is your team going to have to do out there in order to come away with the victory? Well, all we got to do is what we work on all season. I tell you, you know, we have everything we need. You know, if we want to get it done, just do what we do in practice every single day. Nobody needs to put on a cape and be a hero, not even the coaches, no one. Everybody just do their job and we should be fine. In the last contest of the regular season, these Cardinals threw chaos into the mix by handing the Mustangs their first league loss in three years, in doing so becoming co-regular season champs. What um, do you tell them about this opportunity, about this moment? It's a lot of fun. They're going to enjoy it. They're going to remember it for the rest of their lives. If they make it about each other, they're going to enjoy it even more. And now we find ourselves here, at the Czar, to decide the whole damn thing. Just a regular inbound play, right? Wrong, people! They're doing that secret communication thing! Brother to brother, twin to twin, it's going to be a long Friday night at the Czar if you let those two get their telekinesis on. Defensive rule number one. Stop the dude with the ball. That dude with the ball is Troy Smith, and he's all the way in, taking full advantage of the situation. And on their very next possession, Lowell works it around to Braden Lee, and he unleashes his three-point fury. Scurry, scurry, scurry to the glass. Troy Smith keeps it alive with one tap, two tap. Then the big dog, Sean Daly, takes a bite out of crime and finishes the job with the big foot back. You gotta give it up. You wanna get it back. You gotta give it up. You wanna get it back. Give it up. Get it back. Braden and Daly, simpatico. Lowell down just one, 11 to 10, as the first quarter of this championship game is in the books. Anticipation Nation, telekinesis thesis, Jeremiah Aquino's basketball acumen IQ is off the charts. He knows what you're going to do before you know what you're going to do. Look at him. He's in the painted area getting all tangled up. But that don't stop him from picking up what you're putting down. And he sells out a hundred. I'm buying what he's selling. If you're smelling what I'm stepping in, he's a shining star. Shining bright to see what his game can truly be. And Cortavius Taylor likes that action, except he puts his own spin on it. Here we go, people. He stole them broke on him, just like they did to Percy back in 84. But that's a story for another time. Alex Hedger is not concerned with Percy or 1984. He's living in this century, the here and the now. And with time ticking away in the half, he goes to work. Run that track back. They get up on him. Shakes, he tries to go baseline, it's cut off. Spin in the opposite direction. One hand, up and in, off the glass. Plus the foul, plus the free throw for the three-point play the way they did it when I was just a kid. And with just two ticks left on the clock in the second quarter, Lowell keeps this thing manageable. Down just five into the second half, the cards trying to rally round the family. And San Francisco came together as one to rally round these two teams in a manner that only our city can. Quentin Kennedy refuses to be bullied down low. He holds his ground, gets the clean block up top, and takes it to the ground, forcing the jump ball, arrow, and possession, Lincoln. And that play leads directly to this play. Jeremiah, just a little bit too much room to work with, and he puts another three in the jukebox, baby. 
and I love rock and roll. Kennedy rocks and rolls to the hole with soul. Sidestep, hop and pop, the Euro step, when executed correctly is a tough one to stop. Cotton candy, here we go, we gonna let that camera roll. I am a fan of Nikita Kartsev. I admire the way this kid plays. He manhandles it out of there. And a couple of Aquinos later, it's a Quentin at the end of the line. Three point, exclamation point. Five in a row for him. Lincoln, adrenaline, surging. They rally round the family now. And the horses push that lead to 13, 32, to 19. And the yellow fog is all encompassing as their suffocating full court pressure is applied again. But the birds break that pressure as Teddy McCarty takes it upon himself to make a move in the positive direction. To the rack he goes. Here comes the D. Card set measuring it all the way. But our multi-sport amigo wins that battle. He puts it through the slimmest of margins to keep Lowell hanging on to a sliver of hope. Justin Aquino has no sympathy for the opposing team whatsoever, as it should be, and he stomps on that sliver of hope. His turn to beat the buzzer as time expires in the third, clever as ever, up and under, utilizing the left, and it goes. Lincoln maintaining that 13-point advantage and riding the wave. And for Lowell, you can see it on their faces. There's some soul searching to be done. Into the fourth and vinyl, we spin. Buckets are us, Cortavius. You want a bucket? He got a bucket for you. Sweetness and completeness, Cortavius with easily accessible buckets are us locations all over the map. And downtown is a neighborhood he knows well. No appointment necessary, open 24 hours a day. And the graffiti is on the wall. But Braden keeps swinging away and lands a triple blow right there. And while glory lies on the offensive side of the ball, hearts, gut, and desire are the qualities of a great defensive team. The Mustangs will be the champs putting the clamps down in a major way, allowing just 10 second half points total. And that's your headline right there. This time, the D leads to the O in a big time way. Cortavius Taylor, you gotta give the people what they want. You got to give the people what they need. You got to fight the powers that be. Run that track back. Cortavius gets his rhythm. Are you not entertained? Now there's a picture right there. Everybody jump for joy. Everybody playing for everybody else. Lincoln muscles up. They raise the roof, lower the boom, hold down the fort for the second year in a row. Them four quarter horses are your triple A basketball champion. Tell me about your game out there, let's say tonight, and in general, you know, what kind of baller do you consider yourself? Uh, I consider myself as a player that can do, that can do everything, and a winner, somebody that can help my team win, and you always if you need a bucket, I can do it. I noticed one thing about you is, man, you got a lot of people supporting you. Yeah. Not just at your school, it seems like all over. Yeah. How'd you get so many friends like that? Uh, just, be, just be playing basketball. I think it's still good. Um, it shows that I'm doing, I'm doing something good at least. How do you treat other people, let's say, on the court and off the court? Uh, the same. The same, I treat them with positive energy and whatever they need help with, I got it from there. What does basketball mean to you in your life? Basketball means everything to me. I'm doing the Southwest 3, so I'm just trying to, trying to see how far I get with it. Talk to me about Coach. Uh, I love Coach Carl. He's a great coach. He helps, he helps me a lot. Um, he, he, he's always positive, good mindset, good coach, everything like that.
Let's see, hey, have you been watching any videos on Growing Up City? Yeah. Okay, that's great news, that's yeah. great news. What do you think of my camera? Uh, Cisco, <laughs> little camera. <laughs> There's a little camera, I know yeah. a lot of people make fun of it, but that's all right. Um, okay, let's get to the game here.